Chow Chow is one of the oldest dog breeds in the world. It was recognized as an independent dog breed in the UK in 1894. Queen Victoria famously owned a Chow Chow puppy, which she took everywhere with her. It is said that friends of the royal family disapproved of this and instead commissioned a seamstress to make a stuffed toy version of the cute puppy. Some think that this puppy was also the model for the later popular teddy bears. History and origin of the Chow Chow In Chinese, Chow Chow roughly means puffed up lion dog and the dog has been mentioned in historical sources as far back as the 11th century BC. The dog breed, which was originally bred as a protection, hunting and war dog, came to China via Mongolia, where it became a domestic and farm dog. The Chow Chow was also used as a sled dog. Unfortunately, Chow Chow meat soon became a delicacy in China, while its fur also became highly sought after. In Pidgin English, a mixed language of English and Chinese words, Chow Chow also means edible or mishmash. In 1880, the dog was exported to Europe for the first time and seven years later, the British first began to breed Chow Chows. Appearance of the Chow Chow According to the FCI standard, males should reach a height at the withers of 48 to 56 centimeters. Bitches may be slightly smaller at 46 to 51 centimeters. Although there is no fixed weight given, they should be between 16 to 41 kilos, depending on the sex. Their life expectancy is usually between 11 to 13 years. Chow Chows are medium-sized dogs, which look somewhat like bears or lions. They proudly carry their rolled-up tail over their back and are quite self-confident. The breed exists in two varieties, the well-known Chow Chow with a long, fluffy coat and the short-haired Smooth Chow. The coat is permitted in many colors, plain red, blue, black, cream and white. Typically, Chow Chows have blue tongues, blue lips and a blue palette. Their bodies are quite compact and square, while their heads are broad with short muzzles. Their characteristic ears are small, thick, upright and slightly rounded at the tips. Temperament and training of the Chow Chow the lion-like dog has a rather calm and reserved disposition. It is extremely loyal to its owner and somewhat suspicious of strangers. The dogs are very alert and have a strong protective instinct. They are not easy to train, so they are not suitable for inexperienced owners. The Chow Chow needs to be tamed and won over, otherwise they will only train when they want to. Because of their self-confidence, Chow Chows rarely give 100% obedience. If they do, it is because they trust their owner or because they really want to. In a way, Chow Chows act more like cats in their behavior, calm and affectionate, but also stubborn. If they are socialized with children at an early age, they are also suitable as family dogs, but they prefer a close relationship to a single person they usually try to dominate other dogs. Exercise and care of the Chow Chow Although the dogs have only a moderate desire for exercise, they do love having long walks, even in winter when there is ice and snow, because they can tolerate cold temperatures exceptionally well. They are not so keen on dog sports. They far more prefer to sniff around in the woods at leisure. However, owners should always keep a close eye on them because once their hunting instinct awakens, it is difficult to call them back. Chow Chows tend to suffer from eczema and hip and elbow dysplasia. The breed can also be affected by microcytosis, a disease in which red blood cells are greatly reduced. It takes quite a lot of work to maintain their coats, especially during their molting periods in the spring and the autumn when they lose a lot of hair. To prevent matting, they need to be brushed daily, particularly on the rough and behind the ears.